Hi guys, so I wanted to take a little time this afternoon to answer all of your design tips. There were loads of them, so this is gonna be a little long-winded. Sorry in advance, um, but I'll make a separate highlight for it all so you guys can reference it throughout this quarantine. Um, obviously now, given the current state of things, having a home that feels inspired, um, comfortable, relaxing, and um, an extension of yourself is more important than ever. And um, I feel so grateful that I've had the last few years to really design a space like that for myself. So I'm excited to share what I know with you guys. But with that being said, I just want you all to know that I've never been trained in interior design. I didn't go to school for it. Um, everything I've learned has been through trial and error on this space. And yeah, that's that. So let's get to the questions. So this is a good question to start on. I would say something that you could do immediately that'd be super affordable would be to paint. Choose a room and maybe paint it a different color and see how that feels. Backdrop does amazing colors and it's all delivery so you don't have to leave your house. Start by checking out local stores around you and their inventory. Um, shop, Facebook Market, Craigslist, and then don't be afraid to source on Cherish. A lot of times I'll find something locally on Cherish and then contact the dealer directly to work out the price. I would start with um, thinking through the bigger items first. So what do you need that's going to help your functionality and your comfort of your space? Um, and then move on to the smaller design elements. So shopping on Facebook, Marketplace, and Craigslist is always going to be your most affordable option. Um, vintage can always be changed and repainted, so remember. For modern brands, I love CB2. I think their stuff's really affordable and can be really chic. When thinking of a space as a whole, start with existing architectural elements and then move on to how you want to live in this space. Those kind of dual things inform the story about how to look at the whole picture. Well, first, congrats on the move. Um, second, yes, apartments can get very small. Um, the two main tips for that are use mirrors um, and a lot of reflective surfaces will help it feel larger and keep your furniture on legs, nothing heavy. Without seeing the rest of your space, it's a little tricky, but I would suggest a warmer wood tone of a chair or maybe something upholstered in like a velvet or a mohair, something that feels really comfortable and really plush. So I have a mixture of posters and paintings. Um, like this is a poster, but this one is a painting. I mostly frame my photos and posters and drawings, but if it's on a canvas, I leave it unframed. I love vintage drugs too. Every rug I own right now is vintage. Um, Etsy has great vintage options that are super affordable, a couple hundred bucks. Invest in an upholstery cleaner that has saved my life and use Scotchgard. So I think this means inspiration. Um, I still use Pinterest all the time. I love Pinterest. I keep boards for everything. I house all my inspiration. Um, yep, it's, yeah, it's great. Okay, got a lot of questions about art walls and gallery walls. Um, I would say the main tip I have is mix all sorts of art together. Photos, paintings, um, stick to a concise color palette and then play around before hanging. Dude, I am so bad at styling shelves. I wish I was better. I would say my tip would be um, to collect things and group collections together, group colors together um, to make to kind of make a path for your eye. Um, I can show you with my my fireplace mantle is probably my only well designed shelf in the apartment. Um, notice how I've kept the height kind of the same on both sides with the art. There's a grouping of little black things there and more neutral things there. And um, for coffee shop, coffee tables and stuff, um, add books and I don't know, group it that way. I don't know. I'm so bad. I'm sorry. So I would say vary your materials, um, mix textures with each other, um, smooth versus soft versus fuzzy and um, play with contrast and pattern is a huge one too. So a hybrid room. Um, I would do a day bed if that's enough uh, sleeping space or pull out couch. And then for the office portion, make sure you have enough storage so that you can tuck everything away once a guest comes. So you always want to start with like a story or a theme or like a mood, something you can go back to. For a client's house, I um, start with really getting to know them and how they want to live in this space. Um, 
for myself too, but self is a little hard. To further that topic, we can use my space as an example. The architecture in this apartment felt very European or very Parisian. So when I made furniture purchasing decisions, I wanted everything to feel a bit European in the essence and kind of went with that theme or story. It really helped me in making and looking at the total space to kind of make those decisions was to have that theme or story to stick to. So something I've learned about color, i.e. Alyssa's apartment, um, is to play around with it and have fun, um, but try to stick to a palette. So maybe find something that you're super inspired by, a scarf or something in fashion that can help. So this is a very personal thing because it all depends on like what you love. I'd say in general, I've splurged on my more statement pieces. For example, my dining room, I splurged on the table, but like saved on the chairs with a little DIY work. A well-designed home incorporates every single sense. So the way it feels, the way it smells, the way it looks, it's everything. So especially right now, little way things go a long way. Fresh flowers and a really good candle will help things feel great. This can be a tough one. Um, I would maybe invest in really big area rugs to cover the carpet if it's super ugly. Um, otherwise, maybe a great DIY project would be to take the carpet out. I think what helps here is one, sticking to your palette and your story. Um, two, don't be afraid to mix. Even if it doesn't make sense logically, if you love it and it feels good, it'll go together, I promise. So I usually search by um, material, like something like burl wood or marble, um, narrow to the piece. And then I also search a lot by designer just to browse and see what um, has been listed. So organization, super, super key, because if you, if your space looks good, you feel good. It's like if what you're wearing looks good and you feel good in it, you feel good. So I hide everything, cabinets, behind dressers, hide it. My first question would be, can you see both the carpets at the same time? Um, if you can't, and they're just in two separate rooms that have doors, then I would treat those rooms differently. Um, add rugs, add paint, just somehow try and incorporate the carpet if you can. So this is my last question, but in general, I'd say this isn't exercising getting to know yourself better. So you're gonna have to dig deep, but I would start by pulling out a few of your favorite clothing items and um, figuring out why yeah, so look at why why you feel good in those pieces. Um, what colors are they? What patterns are they? Um, and how can you use those fashion items to inspire the rest of your space? Because odds are if they feel good on you and you feel good in them, you're gonna feel good surrounded by them as well.